So I'm sending you this video out as a little bit of a tester and because I'd like to get you guys um, moving as much as possible and just starting to investigate the world of archery yoga. The videos I sent you a while ago were intended as this but I admit I didn't um, didn't preface it with anything. So these are some very basic introductory exercises that I would like you to have a go at and I'd be very interested in your feedback from in terms of how you felt they were, how you felt the overall session as a, as a whole felt like and how you, um, how you felt afterwards and then how you felt sort of the day after, two days after. So we're gonna start with some very simple stuff just in our hands, of just mobilizing our hands, and then we'll do a little bit in our shoulders and a little bit in our legs. And now this is all gonna be very short, very simple, nothing too difficult to, uh, to do. So first off, I want you to just move your hands through as much of a range of motion back and forth as you can. Don't worry if you don't have as much movement as myself and you don't need to do the same speed. But it's quite interesting if you go through it and consciously pay attention to where you're able to move, where it's smooth, where it's jerky. I find I get jerky right at that end range here. My hands start to jerk slightly. So you see where it's smooth and then I curl the fingers up when I get inside it. Now we'll do the same but up and down and you might be able to see here that I have noticeably more range in this hand obviously does it does a lot more than this one which just sits here so we're just doing exactly the same thing just up and down just getting the joints of the hand and the fingers opened up and then the next one we'll just rotate just like this and you can try and rotate the fingers with it as well so you could rotate as much through the arms as you want to but I'm just meaning even if you keep the elbows by your sides and just rotate your hands back and forth just like that. Really simple, starts to get things loosened up. And then the last one we'll do is just spreading the hands, spreading the fingers. You imagine when you open them up, you try and reach into the space where things get stuck, where things don't move, you're trying to reach into them, really press your fingers apart. It's all very simple. It's all very easy. So the next one will go into our arms. So I want you to put your thumbs facing outwards and I want you to simply raise your arms up above your heads. Don't worry if you can't get as high as me, or you can't get as straight back, but I just want you to raise up as far as you can in this direction and try and bring your hands together. Even if they're here, it's better than nothing and then slowly we'll be able to mobilize up through the back, but we'll start off just by mobilizing the arms up and down. It's particularly interesting as you're doing it, if you try and pull the shoulders down, we can end up very much in the traps, the upper traps up here. So I want you to keep your shoulders low and just reach your arms out, out to the sides. So we're pushed down, we're pushing out to the sides and raising your arms up. And just do that about 10 times. When you get up to the top, you can push a little bit upwards as well. But I'm pushing down and out and just stretching out through the arms as they come up and then up to the hands above our head. Really nice, really simple. I'll do it twice more. Cool, well done. So the next thing we're gonna do is just mobilize the hips just very slightly, just some very nice little hip opening exercises. Feel free, very much so. Um, I've got a desk here, so you can hold on to a chair, hold on to a table, whatever you want to, just to give you that little bit of stability to make sure that you uh, don't, don't hurt yourself because we obviously wouldn't want that. So we're gonna start off by just raising the knee straight up in front of ourselves, just like this. really simple but just go through that range of motion we try and not lock our back legs it's very important to not have our knees locked all the time because our knees should be shock absorbers to allow our body to take the physical stress 
um, of, of existence and connect us into the ground. If I lock our knees, suddenly other places, our lower back, our neck, etc., they become hardened, they become flexible, where the knees should be the soft thing. So if we keep the knees slightly bent and just raise the knee up and down. And then we swap to the other side. You might find some differences. You can go through these exercises as slowly as you want. Really raise the leg up slowly and control it and feel inside your body. Because as much as the range of motion is important in what you're able to do, what you feel inside them and the sensation you have inside the joint is frankly almost more important. So we're just trying to mobilize the hips and just get things loosened up and moving. We'll do one more of these. And now the next one, just accept that you probably won't be able to do as much as me, but the idea is there. So what we're doing is just lifting the leg out to the side. So remember to stand side on so you don't kick the, kick the chair if you're holding it in the same manner as I am. And we're just going to raise the leg out to the side. Try to keep the hips level and just lift the leg out to the side. You might feel some tension inside your hip joint here. It's absolutely fine. Don't push into it too much. You want to be on the limit of what you're able to do, but I don't but want anybody uh, pulling a hip or anything like that. But just go through that movement. Lift it out to the side. Just mobilizing the hip joint. Right to the side. And then we'll do the same on the other side. So try to keep your hips parallel. Feel free to support yourself. And we're just lifting the leg out to the side. Really nice and simple. Just starts to get things loosened up, freed up, because it's very easy, particularly in the modern day, to end up spending an awful lot of time sat down. And these things, the hips, end up clamping themselves in the position they're used to, and they get locked up there. So there you go, there's some very quick exercises. As an introduction to archery yoga, be very interested in your thoughts on it, how you felt the exercises went, and I would very strongly advise that you have a good drink of water after this. Fascia, which is the main thing that we're working with here, is um, very much water-based, up to 70, 80% water. And um, doing these exercises, you're gonna be loosening things up. Making sure that you're hydrated is very important. So I'd recommend directly after this, having maybe, you know, a 500, 500 ml drink, something like that, you know, a good a good sized glass of water, a pint of, sorry, I should have said pint, I do apologize. Um, a good pint of water, and then make sure to keep yourself hydrated in the period after that, because it's gonna make a big difference to what your body's able to do and how it's able to recover from these exercises. I hope you found that useful, and I'll be sending you some shortly, but please give these a few days of go, and I'd be really, really interested in hearing how they got on. Cheers.